welcome to our continuing coverage of the postseason. The pivotal Game 5 set to go. Both teams are lined up, and we are set to get things going. This is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. Takes the bump and loses control of the puck. Takes the feed. Comes up with a stop. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Nice job tying up his opponent. St. Louis looks to get things going now with the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Kairou. Here they come. Dumps it in. Vancouver's got possession of the puck. Here's a short pass to Miller. And now he angles it across to Besser. The Canucks looking against the half wall. And that's intercepted by Buchnevich. Dumps it in. The Canucks gain possession along the wall. Through center. Keeps possession. Great read with the stick. In all alone. Stopped on the puck away. Well, the shooter gets in tight here, James, and guess what? The goaltender, he does not bite on the first fake, and that allows him to make the save. Vancouver's taking possession in their own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Oh, and here's the pass! Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? have been the better team in this first period. More scoring opportunities and as a result, more goals. The Blues win the faceoff. Rips it! Can't connect as it goes off a stick. Puck scooped up by Joshua. Gaining momentum up along the side. Oh, what a hit! He sacrificed his body to make the play! He scores! on the puck carrier below the goal line that they don't notice that the most dangerous player on the ice, he is net front. He is creeping around in those quiet areas to make himself available for that one-time shot. When he gets it, he makes no mistake. You can see the frustration on the coach behind the bench here. His team didn't come ready to play and nothing he says or does makes a difference right now. Nearing the midway mark of the period. The Canucks have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. The Blues win the draw here in the neutral zone. Puck grab by Broberg. And he keeps possession. Moves it to Hirota. It's a contact sport, people. There's proof right there. Solid check to slow him down. Quick feed to Hirota. The pass over. He says, let's get physical enough. 
play. They fight for it along the boards. The Canucks gain possession. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They've really turned it up a notch now. Intercepts the pass at center. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Vancouver's holding a noticeable edge in the shot department here in the first, and they lead as a result. And there's a little boost from off the wing as the centers were tied up there. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. St. Louis has the puck. Intercepted in the offensive end by Suter. Missed the net, tried to tuck it in in the corner there. Uh, you can see that he was looking in and around the post, James, and sometimes when you're trying to put it in, that's exactly what happens. He just misses, but a miss is a miss. The Canucks have it now. And he serves it across to Heinen. And he gives it over to Susie. Here's the chance on the attack. Off the post! And he comes up with it. Back in the front. Oh, and another save! St. Louis looks to break out in their own end. Knocked away with the stick by Susie. Here's a shot. That's blocked by Demko. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Past the midway mark of the frame, and it's a comfortable 2-0 lead we're looking at right now. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. The Canucks play it along the boards. Puts it on net. Stopped with a blocker by Bennington. The Blues have it against the wall. Grabbed along the board by Thomas. St. Louis is on the attack. And the puck skips away after that move. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. Oh, making his presence felt with the hit. Here's a chance. Turns that one away. Oh, wow, another great stop. Well, he has been under siege, and I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after oh, another. Is this in the back of the net? Well, it looks like the goaltender's tracking the puck really well. His movement is agile, but he just can't keep up to that quick release shot on the inside of the post. Just here in the late stages of this frame, St. Louis is still trailing by one as they step in for the draw. Shens won the draw at center. Feeds the puck across to Bluger. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, and he reaches out with the glove save. Wow! Well, he makes the save look easy, but it is a tough one. I mean, he's got to find that puck through traffic. He's got to fight. You can see him bobbing and weaving to make the save. The Canucks lead it here late this first period. Bluger's won the draw. Jocelyn for the puck, and he loses control. Quick pass across to Saad. Break away. Oh, the eyes him on the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. And he hangs on to the puck. Passes over to Hoaglander. And they'll go the other way with a great play by Shen. The Blues move the puck in the defensive zone. Great cross ice pass. Fires it. Turned aside with a glove by Demko. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Centers are lined up and we are ready to resume. St. Louis takes possession off the faceoff. Gains the zone from the right. Quick pass to Myers. Tremendous stop by Bennington. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. The Canucks will play it in their own end. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Less than a minute to go here in the opening frame. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. 
Moves it quickly over to Krug. And he takes the feed. And that's poked away by Myers. Puck battle along the boards. There's the horn, ending the first period. Both teams will have a chance to regroup. You do you, and we'll be back with period number two in a moment. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. Moves it to Strong. Takes a shot. Puck is frozen and will get a face off. More than half the period left to play. The Canucks are clinging to a 2 1 lead. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Tosses it on to Saad. Across the line. Big play inside the defensive zone. Takes the pass. Into the offensive zone. Sends it in on the attack. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Receives the pass. They've got some momentum here. The Blues take it from the side. I love that he swallowed this one up with his glove. It's a real threat coming from the slot area. No rebound to boot. Vancouver's coaches were preaching lots of shots on net, and they have done it and lead as a result here in the second. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Tried to make a move, and the puck hops away. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself, but unfortunately loses the handle and it dies on his stick. Quick feed to Forbort. Taken along the wall by Sherwood. Oh, and a smart heads-up play with the bank pass. Takes a knock, but he's still got the puck. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. And he slides it quickly to Heinen. Johnson for the puck, and it's knocked away. Rocks him. St. Louis moves it quickly along the wing. Passes through it, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. He got all of that one. Shot, and he catches that one with the glove. And now he passes up to Kapanen. St. Louis is across the line and on the attack. More than half the period. 
period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. It's a 2-1 hockey game. St. Louis takes possession after that offensive zone faceoff. Nice save from point blank range. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Vancouver's won the draw. Trying to get back on the attack now. Quick feed down low. Oh, they telegraphed the pass and he picks it off. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Vancouver's got it in the neutral zone. Quick pass to Kairou. And smacks the puck out of midair. Unable to reach that one. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. Buchnevich is the victim of a slash, and the official caught that. We got a penalty coming up. Well, the bench doesn't like this call, James. It's untimely, to say the least, with that one-goal lead. Now, the PK unit, they got to get out there, and they got to do a job. The Blues will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Well, a timely power play at this juncture of the game, James, to even it up. This is huge for this power play. Your big stars, they need to shine. And that's a great hits up play in the offensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Bruger. Trying to clear the zone. And they get the puck out of the zone, and that's a break for the squad. Oh, uh, yeah, this PK unit, they're out there for a reason, James. You have to be able to clear the puck, and it's easier said than done, but they make no mistake this time. Kairou's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. St. Louis wins possession right off the draw. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Demko. Listen, James, the shooter's in the slot, and this is as high as as it can get, and he challenges. He's set, ready to go in great position and makes the save as a result. St. Louis will go to work here in the offensive end. And a great save! I'm not sure how he kept up to that shot right from the slot area, James, but man, he flashed the leather. He made the save. No rebound to boot. Vancouver's looking to break out, and they move the puck out of harm's way. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. And that's knocked away. St. Louis will try to make something happen here in the offensive zone. Taken by Kairou. Kuchnevich is exploring options with the puck. Excellent stick work on the play. Vancouver's PK unit comes up big as both sides are back to even strength. Well, often in hockey, we say timing is everything. And when you're down by a goal and you have an opportunity on the power play, you have to cash in. And the whole bench knows that that was a missed opportunity. Jabs the puck away. And that was a good heads-up read to make that save. Demko's been dialed in right from puck drop, James. I mean, he's made the key saves that he's need to make, and it's all about for a tender managing the momentum swings of the game and the timeliness of the saves have really given his team an opportunity. Pedersen's taking it from his own end. Avoids the poke check. Vancouver's got the puck against the wall. And a stick in the lane to flex that one away. Handles the puck. Moves it quickly over to Garland. Oh, much respect as he blocks that one. Here's a short pass to Garland. Wilson scores! And that's his first goal of the postseason ever. And he'll take it. It's much needed too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. The Canucks play it along the wing. Long jam in front, that's broken up. 
Miller's determination on the puck, even though he stumbled and has a lack of balance, really shows right there, James, as he finds a way to get that pass through to the shooter. Sends it into the offensive zone. Battle along the wall. Vancouver's got it in their own zone. And that's a great hits up play by Foxa. All right, we've played now 40 minutes in this one, and still a critical 20 minutes still needs to be played. Go stretch your legs, grab that final snack, because the third period is just around the corner. Fans are buzzing, teams are gliding into position here for the start of the third. Drop the puck here on the final frame. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? The Blues haven't had any possession time, James, and as a result, they haven't created any offense. Their opponent has really taken it to them, really worn them down, put them on their heels, and they spend a lot of time in their own zone. Vancouver's got it behind the net. Miller's been a workhorse tonight, James, and there's just another example of it, and the entire bench knows that they're invigorated by it. I mean, he's on his way down, he's stumbling, and he's managing to find the puck and get a shot on net. That's tenacity at its best. Here they come on the attack. Can't keep a hold of it. And they continue to apply pressure here. What a steal in his own end. Gains the zone from the right side. And he maintains possession of the puck here. And makes the save. Demko's got it, and the officials blow the play down. Well, and this is a smart play. He's been dialed in all night, and he recognizes that he doesn't want his team to make any mistakes. The safe play sometimes is to hold on. We're still in the early stages of this period. Vancouver's got a 3-1 lead. Puck picked up by Garland. Oh, textbook poke check to turn that over. Here's a shot. Oh, a clutch save. Demko's been consistent over the course of his career, mainly because of his positioning, James. He gets set to that puck square to it and makes the save. Right up the cut into the offensive end. Here's a pass down low, and he slides it quickly to Myers. Swats it out of midair, and it doesn't reach the net because it goes off a stick. The Blues gain control of the puck. He looks deep to Saad. Sends a pass over. He got all of that hit. Vancouver's third line is showing a number one performance right now. I mean, this is critical when you have your depth players that are stepping up this big. You know that every player on that bench is going to be giving them stick taps at the end of this game. Moves it to Hoaglander. Oh, Zone. 
Vancouver's gained possession along the boards. Dishes it off. Oh, and he missed the net. What a chance there. Oh, James, when you're in the funnel, you've got that great scoring chance. you got to execute. You can't miss from that area. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Quick feed to Suter. And he loses control of the puck. St. Louis will try to kill a few seconds off this penalty. Throws it in. The Canucks have it now. And somehow he hangs on. Pass it up ahead. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Slides it quickly to Pareko. He carries the puck up along the wing. No, you're not going to get away with that one right in front of the official delay penalty coming up. It's a trip, and it looks like the Blues will lose a man tripping the call. but they remain shorthanded, and he joins the penalty kill. Big time stop there. Scores! Well, putting the special in special teams. It's a power play tally. Well, it's all about specialty teams, and it often makes a difference. And right now, there was pass execution, and they found a way to attack the net. Just an unfortunate circumstance here. The defender's trying to get into the shooting lane, and instead it ricochets off him and into the net. Against and the coach, he's giving his team an earful right now. Listen, they deserve it. They haven't trusted the process. They've done nothing in terms of urgency to get themselves out of the hole, and they just keep digging themselves further and further into it. The Canucks continue to bring up the score here in period number three. Well, it's just been a terrific collective effort. Now they're on the home stretch, and the coaching staff has a real opportunity to utilize their bench, rest their star players, and this is critical when you're in a long season. Vancouver's got the puck in the defensive end. And it's kicked away. Puck scooped up by Miller. Dished on over to Myers. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Picked up along the wall by Susie. Good defensive effort to poke it away. The Canucks gain control of the puck against the wall. Continue to attack the net here in period number three, adding yet another goal to their score. Well, it's been all areas of the game that have really been terrific tonight, James. I've also enjoyed the communication that we're seeing on the ice, not just the body language, but also the vocalness. I mean, they're creating all over the ice, and it's been real fun to watch. Oh, he hammered him! Oh, uh, he knew exactly what he was doing going into this along the boards, James. I love that it was a clean hit. He finishes it off perfectly. The Canucks offense has been the story tonight as they continue to lead big time in the third. And they win the offensive zone faceoff, and here we go. Picks off the pass. Moves the puck from off the bank pass. And that's a smart heads up play by Bluger. Knocked away. Scrum along the wall. And that's poked away. Quick pass to Bushnevich. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. And he was right there to make the stop on that play. Moves it on over to Bluger. St. Louis has it in their own zone. Feeds the cross ice pass to Cairo. Takes the feed. St. Louis has it near the wall. Moves it quickly over to Saad. Great reach with the poke check. Slides it back to the blue line. Pumped away from danger. Garland's lugging the puck. St. Louis gains a hold of it. Quick pass to 
Joseph. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. The Canucks take it across the line. Sends it across. Handles the pass. Takes a shot. And the puck banks off the glove. And he takes the pass. And that's knocked away by Pareko. Moves the puck. With possession along the wall. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from and he makes the save. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. And now it's grabbed by DeBrusque. Fantastic save! St. Louis moves ahead with the puck. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Turns it aside with the glove. Demko's gonna opt for the whistle. I don't mind this call here in the third. Neither do I. Listen, he has been so dialed in all night, James. He has been excellent, arguably their best player. And he's trying to preserve the lead here by holding on to this one to get the face off. Suitors want a big draw on their own end. Puck grab by Hironic. Hands the zone along the right wall. Angles it over to Kapanen. St. Louis with possession in their own zone. And now he moves it quickly to Proberg. Nice puck check inside the attacking zone. Shuts him down. Vancouver's moving it up the ice. Poked away by Proberg. Kapanen's got the puck in his own zone. Slides the pass over to Faxa. Moves the puck along the half wall. And that's intercepted by Suter. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Bumped off the puck. The Blues cross the blue line and are on the attack. Scores! And they add another here, but is there enough time or enough runway left? Well, it's looking pretty bleak, isn't it, James? It might be a little bit too late. Even I could have scored off that unbelievable feed, James. He's just able to corral that pass and put it in the back of the net. are ready for the draw. The line's been about to drop the puck. The Blues get a hold of the puck off the draw. Broken up in the neutral zone by Pedersen. Shot! He's desperately calling for a shot before the buzzer. Slides the puck over to Fulk. Cheryl Pounder. I'm James Sebasti. Good night, and we'll see you next time.